Hey YouTube, what up? It's Gassy Plays MC, and welcome back for another YouTube video today. On today's video, we are here for the first episode of our, uh, I don't know what series this really is. I guess it's like a building series, I suppose. Uh, this video is going to be more of a build showcase of a spawn I built on a faction server. Uh, I've been working on the spawn for, I guess you can say three days. I almost completely built the spawn once, and the, unfortunately the server map, uh, I don't know what happened, I guess the world got corrupted or something like that, so I lost the entire map unfortunately. But uh, I rebuilt it and changed quite a bit of stuff in it. So I'm really just here to show you guys, kind of like a showcase of the, uh, the spawn I built. So this is what I built, uh, it took me I think 4 hours to build this by hand. I didn't use any world edit or anything like that. Pretty much what it is, there's 4 portals, you get your, uh, your warp wild portal over here, pretty much just takes you right to the wild. You get your nether portal over there, your end portal over there, and uh, this is parkour. Parkour's not finished yet. Uh, that needs a little bit of work. It's in a decent shape right now. I could just use some touching up. So pretty much when I first joined the server, I joined here and applied for builder, and they had uh, they had these portals and they had stone brick walls going around and just like a straight square room, uh, not nearly what it looks like now. Uh, so basically, what I uh, ended up starting with was the walls, and I built kind of like a frame, I guess you could say. Uh, it was, uh, let me show you, I'll go here. Okay. Pretty much it was three stone, three stone, and then another layer of three stone. And it went like that, and I kind of just curved it around the edge, I guess you could say. And then I uh, added on to it by adding detail. And by uh, the way, the reason why I did it like that, instead of just building the walls flat out, was I wanted to give it a little more 3D depth. Uh, that's something I really don't do too much in my build. Is my walls, my builds are my walls are normally more to the 2D side, but uh, I made them a little more three-dimensional now, as you can see. There's like indents in the walls, and these fence posts stick out. And I'm pretty happy with the outcome of this build overall. Um, is that supposed to be like that? Am I missing? A, no, I'm missing a block. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't finish this, guys. I was kind of in a rush to uh, finish it because I want to get it done for Thursday, and I, I had it done, but like I said, it, uh, it reset. So pretty much with the uh, floors, I have these. Uh, I guess they're not really gardens. I need to put more flowers in them. It's more just like weeds, I guess you could say, grass. But I got these little uh, grass patches, and then I have a tree in each corner. And then for the uh, the stairs, I mean not the stairs, well there are stairs in this, but the uh, pathway, uh, it's pretty much a stair block, stair, stair block, stair, stair block, stair, stair block, and it kind of makes these little gaps between that they're small enough so you, like, they're big enough so you can see them, but they're small enough that you don't fall into them when you walk, which is a big plus for me because I find that wicked annoying. So uh, yeah, pretty much with the, uh, the blocks I use, I just used... Uh, I use these uh, sea lanterns as the lights. I originally, in the first one I did, I built with glowstone. I just felt like this kind of overwhelmed with glowstone. I thought sea lanterns would look good, so I tried that out for the second time around, seeing I had the opportunity to go the second time around. Um, and then I used stone brick half slabs, I used regular stone, I used cobblestone walls, and I used uh, the stone, stone brick stairs. And that's pretty much all I used for the walls, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all I used. And then, the other only uh, only other block I used was this uh, this chiseled stone brick right there that I used in a layer, one layer around each uh, quadrant of the spawn. Sub Dragon Slayer. So that's pretty much all I had to show you guys for the spawn. Um, I'll show you something else I'm working on on the server. I got a warp shop. I built this real quickly. Not a lot. Of, not a lot of effort was put into this. Uh, I'll definitely touch it up and make it nicer, but. Pretty much this is where the shop's going to be, you kind of just spawn in this little, little room, it's a 4x4 four four, I think, 5x5 five five, five five room that you spawn into, and then I kind of built this uh, this big room down here, and as you can see there's a uh, little pathway that wraps all the way around that's uh, fenced off. I want to add stairways down from each side, and I don't know, I, I think I'm going to continue the same wall pattern up there, I'm not too sure yet. We'll, we'll figure that out though. And I think that's pretty much it. I'll have to show you for this uh, build build showcase. Uh, the next one will be on Thursday, like always. 
if you have a server that you need help building on, uh, I'd be more than happy to help. Just leave a comment down in the description. You can contact my email or my Skype. Both will be in the uh, description. So I think that's pretty much it. If you guys thought the build was nice, please leave a thumbs up. It uh, motivates me quite a bit when I see those, uh, those little thumbs going up. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. For our, our, Oh, I haven't reached in this yet. I was like, why are those here? Uh, thanks for tuning in for our build Thursday. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode 3 of the Bloodlust SMP. So thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.